If you are serious about making money online now and in the future, you need to harness the power of AI. Yes, the robots are taking over. The ad you're watching on the screen may or may not be the real me. And completely new businesses are popping up every single day. I mean, there's a new world emerging with AutoGPT creating single person software companies or marketing agencies that replace the need for like 20 workers. So in this video, I'm covering the best ways to make money with AI now and in the future. And if you stick till the end, I'll give you the number one way to make money that you can rapidly scale. So let's get into it. So we're gonna cover the best ways to make money with AI. So current ways and future ways that you can make money. All kinds of tools, GPT-4, Auto GPT, Mid Journey 5, plus some more Dolly 2 and others. So we're really living through the biggest disruption of work in our lifetime. So when you think about it, we're entering this fourth industrial revolution, the AI age, and this technology is not gonna be stopped. It's just gonna keep getting smarter and smarter. So some jobs are be at risk of being replaced. So things like low, kind of the lower end jobs, like low end customer service, or uh, basic graphic design jobs, some legal analysts, stock traders, junior coders can now you know, perform with some AI tools the way that senior coders can. So things that are like menial tasks, like a, you don't need like 10 customer service representatives anymore. Maybe you just need one or two with AI trained. So you need people that know how to use AI and understand the prompts. So AI handles all these junior tasks, whereas people can handle the more advanced tasks using prompts and all that. So basically you have to adapt and change to this coming you know, revolution here, or you're gonna get left behind. So you have to be an early adopter of this. Think about the early adopter of smartphones or computers or any technology is always the ones that, that get the most benefit. And a whole new world of opportunity is opening with these tools, especially businesses that you can create online, uh, much more advanced businesses than we can talk about in the past. So it's always been like passive income was like 2007, 2008, people wanted to create a website or a podcast or something like that. But AI is opening up tons of new opportunities we're gonna cover them in this video. So here's some current businesses that you can start with AI. One would be something like a content marketing consultant. This is probably one of the easiest ones. You can create easy things with ChatGPT like PPC ads, so Google ads, LinkedIn posts, e-commerce product descriptions, market research and content strategy. So let's look at some example prompts of how to go about that. So I'm using GPT-4 here and I'm gonna put in the message I want you to act as an expert content marketing consultant, write some Google compliant PPC ads, write in the style for these different things. Now write the ads a short description for each and put them in a table format. So it created some really good ad headlines and short descriptions here for fitness trackers, meal delivery, all these different things. Really good headlines, really good uh, descriptions, and it also gives the rules here that it has to be 30 characters for headlines and 90 for descriptions. Here's another one, 300 word LinkedIn post, a new company that you started called Presidential Solar. You just received a large contract with the US government. You're looking to hire three people who have experience with sustainable energy. All right, so it created this nice LinkedIn post, breaking news with some good emojis. We are powering the White House and Pentagon with clean, sustainable energy. We're transforming the world. Here's even they gave positions one, two, and three. And we're more than just a company. We're a community of visionaries dedicated to driving positive change. Just that corporate lingo that we all have come to love and hate. And then it even has some nice hashtags here if you know that someone would be a fit. So it writes a perfect LinkedIn post as well. Now let's say you wanna get hired to write some e-commerce product descriptions. So I'm gonna write this one, write these product descriptions for the pro pooper scoopers, three new products on the market, the hands-free one, the AI poop picker upper, and the boom shit be gone deluxe. All right, and as we see here, it gives three really good product descriptions, including the Poopy Gone propulsion system, the Shipping on pest waste, turning it into oblivion. Lots of good product descriptions here, talking about a high resolution camera, cutting edge technology. So really easy to create e-commerce and product descriptions as well. So when we think about content marketing consultant, you're not necessarily just being a low level writer anymore. You could actually manage an entire company's marketing department by yourself by just creating these ads, creating posts, doing this content strategy, you know, being smart with the prompts too. We can, we can give it more information about the products or the things that it's writing, but it really up levels you. You can be on Upwork or even Fiverr and really get hired for higher end services, charging clients like a few thousand dollars a month to manage all of their marketing, all their ads, their LinkedIn posts and everything in between. So let's talk about AI art and creating an AI art and design store, which is a good business model. So you can sell one of a kind art. You could create it with Mid Journey and Dolly. You could take custom commissions. You can design anything from mugs, t-shirts, books, comics, wall art, posters, stickers, anything like that. You could even start an Etsy store and sell it all. And what you would do is, you know, you see companies like here, like vintageartwork.com, 8,700 sales, making a lot of good money, creating all kinds of things, putting them onto mugs and all kinds of stuff. What I would do is you could use a tool like E-Rank for Etsy. I put in the word art and it tells me how competitive it is. And then I can go down and look at 
other opportunities. And I actually sorted it by the Etsy competition, which is the lowest competition. And you can see things, you might be able to find some opportunities about specific art that you can create. It's like automotive art, NYC art print, preppy art print, painting from photos. Those, those are really popular without as much competition. You can see the Google searches every month, how competitive it is. So you can put in different things, put in art, put in designs, put in different features, and then find that unique niche specific to what kind of stuff you wanna create. So let's look at like creating some actual unique art concepts with Dolly and Mid Journey. So first with Mid Journey, it's actually on Discord. And what you can do is you go to one of these newbie rooms and this is how you create the art so you go down to here you can see all the new stuff that they're creating it's just kind of a general stream but what you do is you do slash imagine which prompts it you hit space and then you add your prompt so i'm going to say gesture painting gosh on paper female martial artist with staff dynamic pose professionally painted in the style of yoji shinkawa so here's what it came up with. It took about 30 seconds, not that long. And that's pretty sweet. I mean, that's four unique images in that style. Let's try another one. Portrait of a Turkish cat resting on flowers. Very cute, very adorable. All kinds of thing, art by people. Furry art, 3D render, painting dark teal and light pink with vibrant colors. This is what it came up with. Look at that. That is some beautiful kitty art. And I'll be damned if I wouldn't put that on a mug or a t-shirt and wear it myself every day of the week. I mean, just as I was scrolling, I saw another pretty cool one, futuristic, little babies in neon Tokyo lights. I mean, who wouldn't put that on something and sell it? Imagine fashion editorial picture, Nike, transparent plastic coat, sport reflective glasses, monochromatic, green translucent, photorealistic, Unreal Engine, 8K natural lighting. Here's what it came up with for that one. Pretty unique, pretty futuristic. I think uh, who needs a model anymore and an actual photographer and a bunch of graphic designers? I would use this. I probably like the top one on the right the best. Let us imagine full body watercolor impressionist painting of Spider-Man from the cinematic universe, available on 8K resolution, ultra detailed features, professional artist, sharp focus, film photography style, very high and visual appeal. I mean, that is pretty sweet. Someone at Marvel DC, give me a job. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna create some crazy art sitting here, sipping on my coffee. One thing you can also do for art is you can combine ChatGPT with Dolly too. So I could put into ChatGPT4, I need a good prompt for Dolly and then tell it what you want. So a detailed drawing of the Earth's energetic force, highly detailed pencil, volumetric lighting in the style of Terrence Malick cinematic. And then it'll give me the prompt and I'll take that and copy it into Dolly too. All right, now here I can do this and I'll generate this piece of art based on the ChatGPT prompt. As you see, it created four really cool pencil drawings that have a unique style, and you can use any of this stuff. So really, it's all just up to your imagination, adding in the prompts, testing stuff, and trying it with ChatGPT, Dolly2, and Midjourney. Another AI business you can start is a sales copywriter. So again, going to post, but Instagram posts longer sales pages. So good sales copywriters could get paid like 100 grand a year or something. But let's look at some ChatGPT prompts for this. So I'm gonna put into ChatGPT4, you're an expert copywriter writing special sales letters, write a 500 word script that hooks the reader about a product that is a skin, skin cream made from the dung of a beetle found deep in the Himalayas, an ancient secret that spans back to the beginning of time itself. All right, this is really good. Background music starts. Catchy and uplifting tune. Make it a little catchier. All right, the video fades in with a close-up of a confident, radiant person looking straight into the camera. Speaker. In the next two minutes, you're going to discover the secret to ageless, flawless skin. A secret that dates back to the dawn of civilization itself. And it's all thanks to the humble beetle. Cut to a montage of stunning landscapes followed by images of men and women with glowing skin, then an ancient manuscript hinting at the source of this incredible secret. So pretty good. If you want to sell some shady uh, supplements online, use ChatGPT. Let's create a thousand world sales letter about the importance of gold and how important it is against these trying economic recession-y times aimed at the boomer generation, the importance of diversification, and then of course a disclaimer at the end that we do not give financial or legal advice. All right, so this is pretty good here. Gold's hidden potential unveiled. Secure your wealth today. This is really cool. Impending recession, we have a solution. The price of gold. I wouldn't really put this sentence as, in fact, as a member of the wise and experienced boomer generation, you already know the value, but it writes all of this stuff. So when it comes to copywriting, you can create all kinds of content simply with ChatGPT. Do a little bit of editing. 
and then make it your own and make it good. But that's another really good skill and a business you can have being a sales copywriter. All right, let's talk about the next current business you can start and that is a no face or faceless YouTube channel. So this is pretty simple. You just rapidly create this, uh, the scripts and upload stuff a lot faster and you can use, even use AI voices. So you can use simple video editors like in video.io to drag and drop the audio and background kind of content that you're creating. And then you can just scale content for multiple sub niches. So let's cover exactly how this works. All right, so I'm gonna go to GPT-4 and I'm gonna say, write me a 300 word basic script about how mutual funds differ from stocks and bonds. So let's say you're a finance YouTuber and you wanna create a simple, quick, faceless YouTube video with some B-roll in the background and maybe even an AI voice that's not your own. All right, so you see that it has the title, it has an intro, background music fades in, the exact transcript of what to say, visuals to add in if you want, you know, various stock market B-roll, the body. So all of the stuff that you would need, more visuals, more text. So what, what, what would you do? You have a f fully fleshed out YouTube faceless channel script here. What you could do is you could go to a tool like murph.ai. You could take this speech and go to speech to text with an AI voice generator. So you can choose from a number of different AI voices. You would then just use a tool like InVideo. So you can put, drag and drop that audio file from Murph into the timeline, add some B-roll into the video footage from InVideo or from Adobe Stock or like another stock video site, royalty free footage, and boom, hit export and you have your video. So the key here is actually finding the niche that you wanna cover for faceless YouTube and what video topics to cover. So for YouTube, one really good tool is vidIQ and you can use it for YouTube keyword research to come up with these video ideas. So for example, I put in like stocks in the keyword tool. And if I go to matching terms, it gives me all the video ideas related to stocks or that include the keyword stocks that people are searching for with the search volume, the difficulty, and the overall score to my channel if I were to pursue it. So what we could do is like, I could look at the best overall ideas and I could see things like dividend stocks 2023, decent search volume, very low competition, penny stocks to buy right now, uh, best stocks to invest in 2023, undervalued stocks, top gold mining stocks. So you find a bunch of video ideas, just put in your niche or niche, put it in here and then do matching terms and see what it comes up with. And you can see the competition, the volume and all that. So then you can create kind of a YouTube content plan, create the scripts in an automated way with chat GPT, do some editing, make it your own though. So people do like channels with faces more because it's a little bit more personal. But if you wanted to create a faceless YouTube channel, there's a lot of different things you can cover. You could cover like the history of football or another sport. You could cover animals and facts and figures, things that don't really require a face. Use it to like vidIQ, find the right keywords, create a content plan for those videos, use chat GPT to create the scripts, use murph.ai to create voices if you want, add some B-roll, set and publish, and do it consistently. All right, let's talk about some future AI businesses here, ones that are literally just starting in the last week or so. So these are like super new ideas. So one would be like automated news podcasts. So taking the news of the day and creating individual podcasts about it. So one way to do it is to use like a, a text-to-speech audio tool like Descript and you can you know, create either your voice or another voice. So you just, the voice is done for the podcast if you have the text. So that's like copying and pasting the entire text. But what if we don't have the text? What if we wanna create our own unique podcast? Well, you can use the brand new auto GPT prompts to search Google for the latest news articles, turn them into podcasts. And this is using auto GPT, which is on top of chat GPT to, you know, chat GPT is like, you give it one prompt and you speak to it back and forth and back and forth. Auto GPT is an automated version of that that does all kinds of stuff. So you can see there's a lot of ways to use Auto GPT to generate prompts, but basically you install Open API, uh, Open AI's API in Python. So you have a little bit of coding knowledge here, but then you can create these types of individual prompts. So if I wanted to create a news podcast, I could say something like this prompt. The name is News Podcast GPT. The role is to uh, an AI created to find the latest news articles and turn them into podcasts, then you give it goals individually. So find three articles about what's going on in the crypto markets, turn these articles into NPR style podcasts of about 3000 words each. And then it just runs and it creates these things for you in an automated way. One interesting thing that just came out is the first Joe Rogan AI experience episode. This is a fake podcast completely made with AI that sounds a lot like Joe Rogan. I mean, if you play it. I am not Joe Rogan, and the guests are not the people they portray. This is purely fiction. Just for so it sounds just like him. You can actually search for this on YouTube, but you can see the the full you know transcript. They sound a little bit dead inside. There's not a ton of inflection, but once they get that down too, you're not going to know the difference between a real and a fake podcast. So you can use Auto GPT in a unique way to pull in information from the internet, 
tell it with goals to create a news podcast, use automated voices, and publish a podcast with very little work on your part. The next future AI businesses is single person software companies. So where you used to have to hire like, you know, 10 junior developers or 10 developers to build a piece of software over the course of a year, that is simply not the case anymore. And it's actually interesting because a lot of funding rounds for early stage startups aren't needed anymore because people are leveraging the power of AI to drastically drop costs. And so there's a lot of different types of individual single person software companies you can create with AI. And that's something like image-based apps for profile pictures and icons, AI image generation for interior decorations, home model layouts, writing assistance, social media automation, and a lot more. So let's take, let's look at a few examples of how some people are doing this. So there's one here called FeedHive. This is social media using AI and automation. So it basically uses AI to just publish and manage social media content. And there's like writing assistance, like copy AI and something like PepperType, which is just giving you, you know, platforms to create content. There's also uh, interior AI. So this is like photo, you know, photo AI, which is another one, and you can render individual interior design photos, which is great for real estate agents. So something like this, it looks messy. You can clean it up and add things on top of it. There's another one, uh, photo AI. So this is actually kind of taking photos with this. It's a synthetic AI photo studio. So it's really creating, you know, its own repertoire of imagery based on completely based on AI and AI people. Then there's Iconify AI, which is creating apps and icons designed by AI. This is a really simple one that you could create, right? This, you know, choosing objects, style, colors, textured, pixelated, whatever you want. How many do you want? And then you generate the icons. This one has 700 customers, pretty simple, easy use tool that one person could create. Then on top of that, something like Lenza. This was one that made like over, I don't know, $9 million in one month last year just using AI, using facial retouching, magic correction, and it's an app that uses AI as well. So there's a ton of different AI software companies out there. In fact, there's a guy on Twitter here that actually created over 70 AI-based software companies by himself. 5% of them only made money, but he was doing it really fast. So he has all kinds of stuff like Nomad List, Remote OK, Rebase, Tubalytics, Giftbook. He was creating all kinds of different calculators. He created a fire calculator, different types of ranking tools, uh, all kinds of stuff, just using ChatGPT and some coding skills. Let's talk about automatic stock trading. So you can use ChatGPT to build a trading robot to make smarter investments in the stock market. You have it write code for you. You get instructions on how to deploy it. Let's take a look at some examples of how to create a trading bot with ChatGPT. All right, so I'm gonna go to GPT-4 and say, you're an expert stock trader. What are the five best machine learning techniques for short and long-term gains in the stock market? So with this, I'm just trying to learn what are some AI-based techniques in initially to, you know, guess the stock market. All right, so it comes back with five machine learning techniques. I don't understand anything that this is saying necessarily, but convolutional neural network sounds good. Let's try that one. So I'm gonna say, give me an example using Python, using the convolutional neural network to predict the price of an Apple stock. All right, so it wrote all of this Python code for me, including how to evaluate and predict the next day's closing price for Apple. It also says all you have to do is replace this with your CSV file containing Apple's historical data and what it needs. So this is kind of like gibberish to me, but I think I understand what it were, uh, what we're, where we're going here. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna say, what else do I need for files to make this code work? All right, so it says to make this code work, we need a CSV file, like we said, containing two columns. Then it literally tells me exactly how to go find this. Go to Yahoo Finance's historical page, choose the date range, click download, and then I have the CSV file. Let's ask it, what are the next steps for setting up this trading bot? So as you can see here, it's giving us, you know, how to use the CNN to predict stock prices. So, but to be more comprehensive, we can do data collection, model improvements, model, model validating, risk management, all these trading strategies, execution, compliance, and all of that. So really what this is doing is allowing any person out there in the world to create advanced trading bots, something that maybe the most advanced people on Wall Street would have, but now the common person can actually create these things with the help of ChatGPT. So this one's a little bit more advanced, but if you're interested in learning about it, finance, investment, and Python, definitely give it a try. Now let's talk about my personal favorite AI business idea, and that is starting a content-driven business with AI. So you can use ChatGPT to find keywords to write about, create the content, create SEO article outlines, meta descriptions, all those things that you want. You can then validate those keywords with SEO tools to make sure they're good. 
and you want to move fast use tools like hrefs use chat gpt you could even use something like content at scale which writes articles for you but you really want to focus on building a real personal brand in the ai space so this is like creating contents determining your niche what you want to be known for so no matter what type of ai business you're creating you probably need to have a website with your name on it that's why i started my website at adamenfro.com makes me over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month through affiliate marketing you know my entire business through youtube and blogging makes me over four hundred thousand dollars a month and really this is the most important thing because ChatGPT ai it starts as text-based content so we can use it to our advantage to create content and monetize it and make money via affiliate marketing and base it just on our personal brand and ourselves so we don't have to choose the perfect thing and quit but we can base it on ourselves, keep building it have a website put our name out there and just make money with AI. So let's get into, you know, looking at the process and seeing how it works. So for example, I could go to GPT-4 and put in, give me 10 keyword ideas I can rank for in niche finance topics. Now, to make money with a content-driven business, we're creating articles. We are using ChatGPT to come up with these ideas and then we're ranking for stuff on Google and then we're making money via affiliate marketing, recommending products and services. ChatGPT is great for coming up with some of these ideas. So things like uh, microfinance solutions, different things around crypto tax and implications. So it gives you kind of these general niche ideas. There's really two types of content that you'd want to create when you're creating a content driven business. Informational content. So how to do things, what are things, what is crypto taxes, and then the transactional content that actually will make you a lot of affiliate revenue. So for example, something like best crypto tax software, that's a product that you would recommend add your affiliate links in and make money. So it's a text-based way to make a lot of money. It's a great business because you don't have to have your face on camera. You don't have to be in this content hamster wheel. You can outsource a lot of it. You can make money in your sleep while you're doing other things, building your business. But we can put in some ideas like this and then it'll give us some keywords to rank for in niche specific topics. And then we can dive a little bit deeper. All right, so you can see here, it gives us different random articles, crypto tax implications, retirement planning. Let's look at that one. So I kind of like retirement planning for millennials. We'll start a new chat with GPT-4 and I'm gonna add in, give me 10 article ideas for low competition keywords to make affiliate revenue related to IRAs, so individual retirement accounts. I'll say mutual funds and then just throw insurance in there. So you can see articles related to the top 10 mutual funds, how to choose the right IRA, uh, benefits of an IRA, what is term life insurance. So then what we wanna do is validate these keywords with an SEO tool like Ahrefs. So Ahrefs has a keyword explorer and we can look for things that we can actually rank for when starting a content business. I'm gonna put in like best IRA and I'm gonna then use the matching terms tool to find all the things that include the terms best IRA but other variations. So we see it's somewhat competitive. Then I can go and make the keyword difficulty lower up to 30. I can show the results that are just less competitive and easier to rank for. So something like best investments for Roth IRA, best ETFs for Roth IRA, best crypto IRA is an interesting one, self-directed and all of that. We can do this in any niche. So not just finance, but I could do like biking and I could look at different matching terms related to that. All these different articles I could write that aren't very competitive that we could make affiliate commissions on that include the word best because best signifies comparative search intent looking for products that somebody wants to buy. So best backpack for biking, best backpack for biking, best biking backpack, gloves, shoes, all of that. We can look at other examples, fishing. There's so many different fishing products out there. We can look at uh, fishing kayak, fishing rods. And when we look at something like best braided fishing line, which you wanna use for your main line, you would see the difficulties low, the search volume is pretty good, and there's some very low authority sites ranking on the first page. So like bcfishingjournal.com has an article here on the best braided fishing lines. They compare them, they contrast them. Not a very authoritative site. We can see the DR domain rating, which is zero to 100 number of how authoritative is it of 15. So they're outranking a lot of other sites. But then this is the simple affiliate marketing angle where you have the products listed, they're talking a lot about how they work. And then we see Power Pro Braid, check the price on Amazon, which is an affiliate link. It looks like it has some type of pop-up as well, but you can see, and then it's the Amazon Associates Affiliate Program. So we can use the Keyword Explorer to find, add our niche in there, you know, put your niche in plus best. You can find all these unique affiliate marketing angles, use ChatGPT to come up with ideas, and we can use it for some other stuff too. So I'm gonna go to ChatGPT 3.5. I use four too much and it blocked me out for a couple hours. But I'm gonna say you're an ex expert SEO article writer, write me a thousand word article on robo advisors versus financial advisors. Make sure it's properly formatted for SEO with headers, table of contents, FAQ, all that stuff. You see 3.5 is a lot faster than four. Four is a lot slower. We just fast forward it for you so you don't have to sit here with me for hours while I wait here. But um, you can see, and then it writes the article you could just hit continue and it keeps writing for you so with the power of 
using SEO tools, using ChatGPT, editing the article yourself, adding some images of the products, joining affiliate programs. You can make a lot of money creating a content-driven business with AI just based on it yourself. So what do you wanna be known for? What type of business do you wanna create? This is my favorite one because it is the most highly personalized. All this stuff is somewhat nuanced, but with a personal brand blog, you can at least try, fail, pivot your content, try new strategies, and then eventually find success. So ultimately these AI tools are gonna to create new millionaires in the near future. Lots of AI software companies, lots of AI startups, AI freelancers are gonna be making a ton of money. AI content creators are gonna be making a ton of money. So it's best to learn how to use these new tools the quick, as quickly as you can. Stay ahead of the curve, keep experimenting and trying. If you wanna uh, use AI in a content driven business more, how to write the articles, do keyword research, make affiliate commissions, how I make uh, 150,000 with affiliate marketing a month, make sure to click the link in the description below in the YouTube description, sign up for my free masterclass. So it's 80 minutes of free content. Just put in your email. That's all you have to do. 80 minutes for free. Thousands of students have gone through it, had lots of aha moments. So make sure to check that out. Check out other videos on my channel too. I talk a lot about AI, chat GPT, blogging, affiliate marketing, SEO, making money on YouTube, all of it. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.